What's up everybody? I will be showing you today how to do in-solution digestion protocol. Uh, this is the standard protocol we use in our uh, proteomics core facility in the lab. Uh, we are trying to digest proteins to peptides um, using trypsin and then later we're going to analyze those peptides uh, using mass spectrometry. It's going to be a lot of steps, of course, like any um, other proteomics um, protocol. So let's just start. I have three samples for today. Um, I just label them as ABC. I like to start with 100 micrograms of total proteins. Uh, that way I know I'm going to have enough um, for later. Uh, don't be too brave to go lower than 30, but anything between 30 and 100 should be fine. Uh, the concentration uh, of my sample, uh, which is a cell lysate, is 20 microgram per microliters. And that means that um, for sample making, I will have to take five microliter of my sample and dilute it with 95 microliter of a buffer, uh, TEAB. TEAB buffer comes as a one molar and for my experiment I am going to need 100 millimolar and this is how I'm making it. Uh, so I'm going to vortex briefly um, the buffer and then I'm adding uh, in the clean appenders 95 microliter. After the buffer is in the tubes, now I'm going to add 5 microliter um, of my uh, samples to each of the tubes. Uh, I always like adding um, the solution that has a higher volume first. In this case, it's the buffer. That way, um, I'm convinced that um, I'm mixing things properly. For the reduction, uh, I'm using TCEP solution. I'm going to need a 200 millimolar solution, so I have to make it for my stock. Um, this is how I'm going to do this. After that, I will be adding 5 microliters uh, of my TCEP to my samples, uh, and I'm going to shake for 1 hour on 55 or 56 degrees Celsius on a thermomixer. Next step is the alkylation. Uh, I will be using IAA uh, or iodoacetamide. I'm needing 375 millimolar solution, so I'm gonna make that. Uh, after that, uh, I will be taking five microliters of IAA solution, uh, adding into my sample and shake 30 minutes in the thermomixer on a room temperature, uh, and I will make sure that my samples are protected from the light. In the next step, I will be adding pre-chilled acetone. So my acetone was sitting on a minus 20 Celsius um, forever. <laughs> well, not forever. Probably I made it like a last week. Um, and then I will be adding the acetone to my sample uh, six times the volume of my sample. So if I started with 100 microliter of the sample, I am adding 600 microliter of uh, cold acetone. After the work is done, uh, my samples are just gonna chill uh, in the freezer until tomorrow. Uh, if you are working with the tissue samples and not the serum samples or uh, cell culture, you may use methanol chloroform method uh, for protein precipitation instead of the acetone. The next day, uh, I will have to centrifuge my samples uh, on 8,000 uh, uh, G uh, for 10 to 15 minutes. Um, that way, um, I'm expecting my proteins to be in a pellet, as you can see here. It forms like a nice white pellet at the bottom. And after that, I will decant the um, 
the acetone out really carefully, not to disturb um, the bottom where the palette is. Uh, and then I will just leave it. Um, yeah, so you can see here how it looks like. I will just leave this um, on the room temperature for maybe five minutes. Um, so I'm sure that the acetone um, evaporated completely. Next, uh, I will have to dissolve uh, the protein palette in TEAB, 50 millimolar. Uh, so I will be adding 100 microliter of the buffer uh, to my palette. And then you can either vortex. What I like to do is just like um, go up and down gently um, with, uh, with the pipette. And um, the protein should dissolve. If they don't, don't worry. Uh, when we add trypsin in the next step and leave it on a thermomixer overnight, everything should be um, dissolved. Um, so don't worry about that. We came to our key moment, Mr. Tripsen um, kicks in. Uh, so uh, I'm having 100 microgram uh, in the vial. I will be adding 100 microliter of a TEAB. So I'm making a stock of one microgram per microliter. And then if I'm having um, 100 microgram of proteins in the sample, I will be adding 2.5 microliter of one microgram per microliter um, concentration of trypsin. And then I'm gonna put it on the shaker, on a thermomixer overnight on 37 uh, Celsius uh, until tomorrow um, to continue my digestion. So the next day, uh, so this is day three of our protocol, I will be taking my samples um, to the speed vac. Uh, what I want to do here is just to um, eliminate and get rid of the liquid part because I don't want it. I just want my uh, peptide um, um, bottom, my peptide palette, uh, and then I will go from there. Uh, when the sample is uh, dry, this is how the palette looks like. So look how this um, palette is white and just big. Um, you don't want that. Um, this is the peptides plus all the salts coming from the buffer and lysis buffer. So we have to clean the peptide palette um, before introducing peptides to the mass spec. So for that, I'm using this product, uh, C18 Tips. You can use others on the market. They're all really efficient. I just prefer um, something that looks like a tip rather than a column. Um, so there you go. Um, this is the end of the protocol. Uh, if for some reason you believe that you need that visual moment um, that you uh, will uh, have on a gel, uh, you can uh, opt out for the in-gel digestion instead of in-solution digestion. Um, that would be if you're uh, interested in a specific band um, to see it prior to mass spectrometry, uh, is it there or not. Uh, so I will provide information about that video. I posted down the link for the in-gel digestion uh, video tutorial, so you can check on that. Uh, well, at the end, I hope you made some sense out of this video. Uh, if you have any question, please post it down. Uh, otherwise, um, that will be it, and I hope that you get some really cool spectra out of your um, projects.